What's going on, everybody? We're back for another edition of True Ball Reviews. We have the first shot being thrown with the Control Ball, which is the Storm IQ Tour. That bowling ball has been in their line for quite a long time. Um, so we know it's going to give us a good motion to give us a good comparison uh, to our review ball today, which is the Storm Axiom Pearl. has the Storm N2X cover stock. The same core as the original Axiom, and it's finished at 1500 grit polish, which we'll go ahead and take a scan of that uh, ball. And it's going to go scan at 5300 plus, which is, if it was on the big scanner, it would be right around 5500, uh, which is consistent to that 53, or excuse me, that 1500 grit polish finish. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the first shot with the Axiom. Little right, but that's okay. Still actually came back quite a bit and um, got a decent amount of hook. Um, so we'll go ahead and get a full rack. We, of course, are wiping each ball off in between shots to ensure that we get the most consistent reaction as possible. Um, it's, it's super important that you do that, especially in competition. Uh, you want to make sure you know what your bowling ball is going to do. And wiping the ball off in between shots is super, super important. Of course, we can't use liquid products while we're bowling, so we do have um, that dry towel option, whether it be with the big fluffy pad or the dry pad pro. So another good shot with the control ball. We just got to bring it together with the Axiom Pearl, but that's okay. We will get there. And we do have Specto where we can see each, each shot and how it was thrown. You can see the two shots with the uh, IQ Tour were pretty close, um, but we just got to bring it in with that Axiom. So, of course, we have Clutch Bowling. We have the ability to put targets out in the lane. Um, Clutch has, of course, partnered with the CTD Education Center to help you as the bowler uh, become better. These targets are super helpful if you are looking to uh, get better at targeting uh, both at the arrows and down lane. We can put those targets anywhere on the lane. Uh, so if you need to work on your targeting at the arrows or down lane, we can get those targets on the lane. So we had another shot with the Axiom Pearl there. Of course, a little right again. But that is okay. That's the good thing about these extended reviews. We can show you exactly what the ball is going to do. And um, let you decide how that would fit in your bag. That was a pretty close shot to the control ball there. A little left, but that's okay. So we're going to remove those lines and take a look at another shot. Let us know what you think about these uh, true ball reviews. We got a new setup for shooting these videos. Another good shot with the Axiom Pearl. That you can see by my face. <laughs> I like I liked that ball reaction a lot. Um, but anyways, we got a new setup uh, for the true ball reviews videos at the Education Center. Uh, give us your feedback. Comment. On the video let us know uh, what you think and we're throwing another shot with the IQ tour and we can start to see definitely see the difference between the two balls um, the IQ tour is definitely more uh, continuous as we can see with the specto data you can see the last two shots were actually uh, pretty close together um, but yeah the axiom pearl Definitely falling into that uh, that more angular category 
uh, with these first couple shots that were uh, good here. Now the the axiom is actually a pretty big ball, um, and seeing seeing that sort of ball motion is pretty advantageous when it comes to uh, building an arsenal. So that shot with the Eki Tour was just a little in. So we're going to change the targets up a little bit, tighten them up. And that's another cool thing about clutch is we can make those targets big or we can make them small all the way down to one inch, which is one board on the lane. So we got a different view. Again, that new setup at the EC allows us to give these views in real time. So Specta saying that was just a little, little in. You can see the launch angle was just, just a hair um, too closed down, not open enough to get it to the right. So we're going to go ahead and change, um, change the targets. We're going to move right to second arrow. And the reason we do this is we want to give you a good idea um, of what this ball does like when it gets to the friction that's why uh, we are moving right here so the only thing we are changing about how these shots are thrown is simply the targeting um, they're thrown the same release same ball speed you notice on our specto data we have the uh, rpm to speed ratio uh, whenever we bring that up um, that helps us validate each shot uh, when it's going down the lane to ensure that that is a good shot to go off of when we are giving our our final thoughts here. So we're going to go ahead and go to that. Uh, excuse me, the Axiom Pearl again finished at 1500 grit polished. The IQ Tour is at 2000 grit true cut. So the surfaces are a little different, but it still gives us a good idea of the difference between the two balls. So those two shots were actually very, very, very close uh, when it comes to ball reaction. So the, the Axiom Pearl is just a, a little bit more angular. So that would be a great ball to get left with, um, especially for me, that being a bigger ball, I know it will come around the corner um, if I am having to migrate left. So we're not going to migrate just a little left to fourth arrow to get a good read on the Axiom Pearl here. First, we will throw the, the IQ Tour again so we can get that comparison between the two balls um, in a certain part of the lane. So we're going to be playing 20 to 10 with the IQ Tour first. We're going to add one more thing uh, to the, the clutch, how the, um, the line is made here. And one more thing, we'll be able to see it. Oh, no, not on that one. That's okay. But yeah, with... With clutch bowling, you you have the ability to add uh, trails to the back of the uh, the ball, so that's pretty cool as it's going down the lane. So we're gonna throw the same shot with the Axiom Pearl, see what it does. As we uh, actually migrate into more oil, we're throwing on the uh, Kegel Chromium pattern. Let's see what this ball does um, as we get into some oil here. Taco falling at that time. <laughs> the shots were pretty close, but just a little right uh, with the Axiom Pearl. But still, it gives us, gives us a good read of what the ball does. 
um, when it gets into some oil. You notice that it, it didn't really shape up, and that could have been because we missed just a little right. But we'll throw one more good shot here and see what we got. So I, I like the Axiom Pearl. That was a, a very, very good ball um, to test with. You'll notice here, pretty good shot. Wrap 10, but that's all right. Now, if you're interested in the Axiom Pearl, you can check it out on BowlingForLess.com. Like, subscribe to the channel for more true ball reviews. And if you have any questions, never hesitate to ask them. Uh, the comment section is a great place to ask those questions. We'd be more than happy to help you out and get some answers, whether it be on the Axiom Pearl or any of the other true ball reviews. So that being said, appreciate everyone tuning in. I am Dustin Dane with Creating the Difference, and have a great day, everyone.